In this tutorial, we're going to look at something that might at first seem to you strange and foreign and weird, especially if you've never worked in video before. But what we're going to talk about is using image sequences instead of video. In other words, a series of pictures instead of video. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Double click in the project panel and go over to the media folder. And then in the image folder, you'll find a folder called image sequence. Click on the first image only and then select JPEG sequence here. It should be selected by default, but just double check just to make sure. And what we have here is just a series of still images from a movie. Ninja Death 3 to be exact. And this ninja comes flying in here and these are just separate stills from the movie. Essentially each frame of the movie being rendered out to its own file, its own JPEG. Now, even though it kind of makes sense a little bit because essentially that's what video is, just a series of still images, you might wonder why in the world would you want to create a folder full of images rather than just one movie file? Well, here's the deal, folks. Image files are very standard in video editing circles. One of the reasons is because they're easy to break up. Let's say you had 30 gigabytes of stuff to send me. If that was one movie file, that would be really, really tough to send. What would you send it on? You'd have to buy a hard drive and send it along to me. But if it was 30 gigabytes of an image sequence, they'd all be separate images. So you could break them up, split them up into four gigabyte chunks, and then burn them to DVDs. And that would be much easier to send along. Now, one time I was doing a job, it was a video job, I was doing just a special effects shot, and the company sent me loads of these image sequences. Well, I knew just looking at the files, I didn't need that many frames. So before even opening it up in After Effects or Premiere Pro, I just selected the files and deleted them. It's almost like I just did video editing by deleting images. And let me show you another benefit of image sequences. I'm going to select this first image, making sure that JPEG sequence is still selected, and click Open. Now you would think that it would bring in dozens of images, but it didn't. It brought in one file. As you can see with this object selected in the project panel and the name up here, Ninja Flip 00 whatever to 00087, that this is the numeric range of the image sequences that I brought in. And if I double click this, it opens up in the footage window. I hit the spacebar to preview it and it plays just like a video. It works just like a video in After Effects. Now, another couple of reasons to use image sequences. Number one, you're guaranteed compatibility. Everyone can open up a JPEG. Not everyone can open up every type of AVI file. Not everyone can open up every type of MOV file. So if you're sending a project to somebody, especially someone on a different platform, so in other words, if you're on a Mac and you're sending it to somebody on Windows or vice versa, an image sequence might be a good candidate, something to check out. Finally, image sequences are great for rendering. If you render to a video file and somewhere there's a crash, which happens often, unfortunately, you have to start from scratch. If you've rendered to an image sequence, then you only have to pick up from the last image that you left off on. Now, honestly, I should point out here too that this is typically only good for intermediate renders only. In other words, like let's say you're going from a visual effects shot to video editing or back and forth or whatever, then image sequences are great. But as far as an output file format, typically when you broadcast, you wouldn't broadcast an image sequence. So often what I'll do in those cases is output to an uncompressed image sequence then re-import that image sequence back into After Effects and then spit it back out as whatever you know final format that I need to uh, send it to. Again, it might be strange and foreign to you, but image sequences really do have a place in the world of video.